Good morning, dear hearts. All right, uh, we are beginning a brand new relevant thought, special thought that will now guide us for the next 10 lessons. And uh, this one is, what is the ego? Now we're probably all familiar with the acronym for ego of edging God out. But I have another one that's written in my book that I'm not sure where it came from, but I like it a lot also. And it is Earth Guides Only because that really is what the ego is. It's the guide on the earth, the earth being the portion of our existence that we believe is separate from heaven. The relevant thought begins by saying, the ego is idolatry, the sign of limited and separated self born in a body, I am not a body, doomed to suffer and to end its life in death. It is the will, small will, air quotes, will, that sees the will of God, what is real and true, as enemy and takes a form in which the will of God is denied. The ego is the proof, also air quotes, that strength is weak, love is fearful, life is really death, and what opposes God alone is true. The ego is the one who started that rumor that God is dead. It's not. God isn't dead, nor are we. We are life eternal because we are an extension from the mind of God. We are creation. God is our creator. Remember our relevant thought that we just completed of what is creation is creation is the sum of all God's thoughts, all God's thoughts in number infinite and everywhere without a limit without all limits, that is what we are. We are creation and our creator is alive and well. We are part of God. Love is not fearful, but love when it is being guided by the ego is because it is not love at all. It is something that is made up only to be taken away in order to keep us imprisoned in ego land. The second paragraph begins, the ego is insane, and we know that. We know that from the behavior of the ego. We know that from our behavior when we are under the influence of the ego. It is insanity. In fear, in fear, the ego it stands beyond the everywhere, the all that is from all, apart from all, in separation from the infinite. In its insanity, it thinks it has become a victor over God himself. And in its terrible autonomy, it sees the will of God has been destroyed, which of course is insanity to believe that. It dreams of punishment, the ego dreams of punishment, and trembles at the figures in its dreams, its enemies who seek to murder it before it can ensure its safety by attacking them. Remember, I haven't said this for a while, but the ego's mantra is do unto others before they do it to you. That's what the ego is. Let me do it to you before you do it to me, because I know, I know what's in your mind and in your heart, and it's, it's, not in my best interest, to allow you to live. You must die. That is what the ego is. It is insanity. It is filled with fear and terror in every turn. This isn't where we want to be. There's a part in the text that you know tells us in order to relieve ourselves from the ego, it's as easy as stopping to believe in it. The ego is perpetuated by our belief in it. When we turn away, when we simply turn away from the ego, we learn to recognize that loud voice, that nasty voice in our head. We learn to recognize it and say, this is not a thought I want. This is not a thought of God. This is not the will of God for me. And with that, the ego will disappear. The, um, the formula, if you will, for that is that the ego is in idolatry. It is insanity. But with forgiveness, it will simply disappear. Today's lesson 
is 331. There is no conflict, for my will is yours, yours, Father. My will is God's. I'm going to go back again to two lessons that I referenced just the other day, 101 and 102, that God's will for me is perfect happiness. And then the second lesson is I share. I share God's will for me. Yes, that is what I want as well. I want perfect happiness, and there's no conflict. There's no conflict in wanting happiness. There's no conflict in peace. This lesson begins with the prayer portion, and it says that, you know, how foolish, Father, to believe your son could cause himself to suffer. Could he make a plan for his damnation and be left without a certain way to his release? Would God have done that? Would God have left me in the wilderness with no way out, no way to find my way home? No, that never would have happened. Uh, skipping down into it, it says, there is no will except the will of love. God is love, the will of love. Fear is a dream and has no will that can conflict with yours. Conflict is sleep, peace, awakening, death, illusion, life, eternal truth. God is not dead. The truth is God is eternal and so are we. There is no opposition to your will. There is no conflict, for my will is yours. Conflict is chaos. And when we remove the conflict, what we have is peace. Peace is under every conflicting thought and dream and illusion. When we remove the conflict of what we seem to be seeing, Behind that is God's peace and God's will for us of perfect joy, peace, and happiness. The second part of the lesson says forgiveness. Forgiveness, there we have forgiveness, shows us that God's will is one and that we share it. God's will for me, I share that. Yes, I share God's will for me for my perfect happiness and that we share it. Let us look upon the holy sites. Forgiveness shows us today that we may find the peace of God. Amen. Um, there, there is no opposition in peace. There is no conflict. So today we work at the idea, we commit to the idea that we want to remove all conflict from what it is we are seeing, which means we want to remove the ego from our minds and we want to remove the, the attachment we have had to the ego and we want to remove the power that we have given to the ego. We're simply going to take it away, turn from the ego and not pay it any attention easier said than done. I understand that. But with God, all things are possible. That's it for today. Um, I hope this helped. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Don't think I said that. Please comment. <clears throat> I love the comments. I answer every comment. <laughs> and please pray. Let's pray for the end of conflict to release that, lift that, and all of us see the peace that is shining there, just underneath. Um, have a lovely day. Namaste.